our channel Tidbits of Lits and this is our second episode and before we start discussing what this episode uh, would be about, uh, we will uh, really really want to first thank all the people who have liked our first video, subscribed to our channel. We are really really thankful to all of you. Okay and now coming uh, to what we are going to do in this episode. Before we kind of discuss that, we have an anecdote, an incident that we would like to share so that you understand where this idea came from. So we met this Dadu on the train while we were traveling together. So this is Shreyoshi and Dev Priya and Shreyoshi will tell us what happened on the train with Dadu. Okay, so we were traveling by train, right? And then all of a sudden we meet a very nice old gentleman who... Uh, asked us, you know, what we do and stuff. So we said that we were into, uh, you know, English literature and literature. stuff. Literature. Yeah. Literature. Literature all over. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, so then what happened is that as soon as we said that we are into English literature, he started quoting from Milton's Paradise Lost, a better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. And with this a lot of lines, which I do not even remember. I can Google. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's lame actually and that says that you are a loser but uh, anyways that's not the point so yeah yeah so that kind of got us thinking that what can we actually do that will help us to memorize the lines a little better and that took me back to my childhood uh, where I had this tormenting speaking skill session where I had to kind of uh, memorize this entire poem and recite and I just did not know what to do about it so I kind of took this Bollywood tune and put it to the lines of the poem and that kind of helped me. Uh, the poem was by Walter Delamere, the listeners. Okay. So it went something like this. Is there anybody there? Said the traveller. My heart is beating. <laughs> right, Keeps on it, right. repeating. Yeah. So that kind of helped me to remember the lines and... Uh, so that again I discussed with uh, Shreyoshi and then we came to this idea and she also remembered something from her childhood where she had forgotten the lines of a poem and she kind of started rapping the poems. So yeah you heard that right she started rapping the poems so I think Shreyoshi will tell us better about it. Yeah, so again, in my childhood, I had to recite uh, lines from someone, again, by Walter D. Lamer. Yeah, so we were kind of tortured by the same poet, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, we later yeah, fell in love. Fell in love. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, uh, you know, again, I had to uh, memorize the lines and uh, I have this immense difficulty into <laughs> keeping anything in my mind, right? I, I forget every, everything. In fact, who are you? <laughs> uh, that was a good one. That was not scripted, but yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that bad is her memory. <laughs> exactly. So again, uh, you know, I discovered what I could do is that I could design a wrap around it, and then I actually could remember the lines quite well. So I, I think we can do it together. Yeah, because right? I learned the lines from her. And sure. So yeah, we can show. Yeah, that. yeah. Okay. So let's start. Okay. One. his woods fill up with snow so see we can remember the lines and we kind of did that last night we had this conversation and i still remember and even i do <laughs> so if you like this trick of ours so kindly like and subscribe and our video and the like button 
okay, that's the bell button. <laughs> but I'm going to memorize my lines with her because she's going to hit me like this. I'm going to have this brain average someday. Anyways, see you next week. Goodbye, people. Bye-bye.